Hey, what's up guys? Kevin back with another video here. So if you guys have been following, I've been doing a little small series where I'm basically on a road to a six plate squat, AK 585 pounds or 265 kilos. And basically this is part three of the series. Did I hit it or did I fail? Well, we're about to find out. Leading up to this, my body weighs about uh, 199 pounds. So I'm feeling good this whole week. You know, decrease the volume, all my fatigue is out of the body, I'm eating a lot of food, staying hydrated, and I'm feeling good. So 495, bam. Honestly, best 495 I've ever moved. Best 495 I've ever moved. Next, I think I hit uh, 525 or 530, something like that. And again, it wasn't that bad, it moved fairly quick. Now at this point, I'm feeling so damn good. Momentum is going, I throw on 555 pounds. This would technically be a four pound PR for me. A slight slowdown in the bar speed, but honestly, it's not too bad. I think I moved that fairly nicely. And now, 585. Do I get it or do I come back on my shield? Let's find out. Come on! Yeah, so there you guys go. I failed my six plate squad. I won is so damn bad. So I'm a little late on this video. I actually tempted this squad about two weeks ago. I kind of let this time to decompose and um, kind of let everything digest a little bit. Kind of understand all the emotions I was feeling and uh, why it led up to all this. What I, what I did right and what I did wrong. So initially, right when I failed that, I was super, super pissed off. This is something I dedicate a lot of time and effort into. It was constantly on my mind, like visualizing, thinking about it. Just, I really want to hit that six plate squat. I told so many of my friends like, yo, this is the date. I got to do it. You know, I'm just hyping myself up, trying to fully immerse myself into that and not hitting it. I was, there's so many emotions going along. Like everybody, as you guys saw in the video, was just kind of watching me. They saw me dump the bar. I like uh, obviously when you dump the bar, you kind of just fly forward because you don't want the bar to, you don't want the bar to fall on you. So by dumping the bar, my uh, ankles uh, had like an inward flexion, and uh, by doing that, I actually really hurt my ankle. It's been two weeks, and I can, uh, and like my best squat is like 375 right now because like the pain of the pain of flexion and mobility really hurts. And now that I've had this time to just like kind of decompose, as I was saying, um, I'm actually uh, like, it's a big stepping stone in my opinion. I went for something I really wanted to do. I just fully immersed myself into it. And I just went for it. Yes, maybe it wasn't the smartest jump ever. I probably should have went to like 540, well, should have went from 545 to maybe 585, a 40 pound jump instead of doing such a small 30 pound jump. Like there's a lot of things to consider. I probably, should have ate more, like I could gain a little bit more weight. I probably cut off volume way too quick. There's all these little things that are just nitpicking at your head that you think about, but ultimately you gotta ask yourself, what did you learn from this? And honestly, I learned that like, I'm just a human. I do these things, I'm not invincible. You know, there's certain boundaries that you can hit and just cause you want something doesn't mean you'll necessarily get it. There's sometimes a smarter way to do things. Like I probably should have went for 570, 575 pounds. I would have got a nice 20, 25 pound PR, but I'll just so fixated on the six plates. Like how good does that sound? Six plates. I'll just so fixate on it. 585. I want this. But the smarter thing would have been, hey, take 570, take 575. I know you have that, but why do you want 585? So you can post on your Instagram, so you can make this video that I'm making for you guys right now. It's just like things that you uh, got to ask yourself, like what are the, what are the greater motives? Why are you doing these things? And it's, and overall, this experience has helped me kind of reflect on how I train. Like, why am I doing these things? Is it for myself? Big thing, yes. But what? why do I want these specific weights? Because somebody else is hitting them? Because it sounds good on paper? Like, 300 kilos, that sounds beautiful? Like, all these things that kind of just ask yourself. And having this time off from training just helps you uh, reflect on these, on why you train and... 
what what kind of ambitions and goals you have. A big thing that I was going through in the past two weeks is like, dude, my ankle is in pain. I'm coming up to provincial soon, and like my competition's getting stronger, but my ankle, it's I can't squat. Like I can't do body squats. The flexion really hurts. I just cannot do it. Having this battle between your mental uh, confidence and your focus is. It's challenging, but overall in the end, like I think it's absolutely worth it. Because at the end of the day, when you truly believe in something and when you truly love something, things will eventually work out your way. I've been competing powerlifting for like over four years now, and I haven't got a medal since... Uh, <laughs> and like the first time I actually got a medal was less than a year ago. So basically the message I'm trying to say is, when you have something in mind, you should definitely go for it. And if you happen to fail, there's nothing wrong with that. Gather yourself up, take the time necessary, to understand what you did right, what you did wrong, kind of go forward with that. But in the end, when you believe in yourself, when you're fully immersed in it, and you continue, you'll eventually get it. And overall, this is why I love powerlifting. When you fail, it shows you your true strength, not your muscular strength, not how much you can squat, but your character strength. It straight up forces you to ask you the question, are you gonna get back up? And are you gonna come back at this? Are you gonna come back stronger? And are you gonna smash this the next time you want it? And that's what I genuinely love about it. It shows your character, it shows you who you truly are, and if you're strong enough to come back at it. So that's kind of the message I wanted to leave. Yes, I did ultimately fail my goal, my 585, but I know in the near future, I'm gonna smash it. Hopefully I'll even squat more weight than that. So yeah, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed my little message. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later, bye. <laughs>